Hi and welcome back. So a new study out of the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston has shown that the later that you eat in a day has a very profound effect on your appetite, your hormones and your circadian rhythm. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and see what this new study out of Boston has got to offer. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by Alex Johnson and was published in The Conversation. The study out of the Bingham and Women's Hospital in Boston looked at the effect that eating later at night had on our hormones and our circadian rhythm. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. Obesity afflicts approximately 42% of the US adult population and contributes to the onset of the chronic diseases of aging such as diabetes, cancer and metabolic syndrome just to name a few. While popular healthy diet advice leans away from midnight snacking, few studies have comprehensively investigated the simultaneous effects of late night eating on the three main players in body weight regulation, these being regulation of calorie intake, the number of calories you burn and molecular changes in our fat tissue. Until now, very few studies have actually investigated precisely why late night eating is linked to greater body weight. This recent study sets out to address this deficit. Researchers found that eating four hours later than normal actually changed many of the physiological and molecular mechanisms in our body that in turn promote weight gain. This work adds to other recently published work which has found out eating earlier in the day is more beneficial for both appetite and for weight control. Let's take a look at the study participants and what they actually did. To conduct their study, the researchers had 16 participants follow two different meal schedules, each for a period of six days in total. The first protocol had participants eat their meals early in the day, with the last meal being consumed approximately six hours and 40 minutes before bedtime. So for a bedtime of 10 p.m., that would mean not eating after 3.20 in the afternoon. The second protocol had its participants eat all of their daily meals approximately four hours later. So for a 10 p.m. bedtime, that would mean not eating after 7.20 in the evening. What makes this study particularly interesting is it was conducted in a controlled lab environment. This ensured that the participants in each group consumed an identical diet and all of their meals were evenly spaced with around four hours between each sitting. To understand how late night eating affects the body, the researchers specifically looked at three different measures which are associated with weight gain. The influence of appetite, the impact of eating time on energy expenditure, so calories burned, and molecular changes from fat tissue. The participants' appetite was measured throughout the study using two separate techniques. The first technique, a more subjective method, had the participants rate their feelings of hunger throughout the day. The second technique was collecting blood samples to look at the levels of appetite regulating hormones in the participants blood. These hormones were leptin which helps us feel full and ghrelin which makes us feel hungry. These hormones were assessed hourly over a 24 hour period during the third and sixth day of each trial. To assess the effect of meal timing on daily energy expenditure, a technique called indirect calorimetry was used. This measures the amount of oxygen a person uses alongside the amount of carbon dioxide they produce. This helps researchers estimate how many calories a person's body uses throughout the normal day. To examine how late night eating affects the way the body stores fat on a molecular level, the researcher performed a biopsy on fat tissue taken from the abdomen, but only half of the participants agreed to this invasive procedure. So, when it came to late night eating, what did the researchers find? They found that compared to an early eating pattern, late eating not only increased subjective feelings of hunger the following day, it also increased the ratio of hunger hormones, that would be ghrelin, in the blood. 
And this was despite the participants eating an identical diet in both protocols. Late night eating also caused a decrease in the number of calories that were burned the following day. In the participants who did the fat tissue biopsy, late night eating was also shown to cause molecular changes that promoted the storage of fat. Together, these results indicate that late night eating leads to a number of physiological and molecular changes that, over time, could lead to weight gain. While at present we don't fully understand all of the mechanisms underlying why late night eating promotes weight gain, this study shows that it's probably the result of many factors working together. One theory for why eating late at night causes weight gain could be down to our circadian rhythm. The human body has a natural circadian rhythm or body clock which is controlled by the brain and influences the normal ebb and flow of our hormones. It is particularly responsive to daylight and to food intake. The time that we eat is intrinsically linked to our circadian rhythm in that we normally sleep when it's dark and we eat when it's light. When we eat late, this could challenge the natural circadian rhythm, causing disruptions to the body's hunger signals and the way it uses calories and stores fat. However, this link to date has only been shown in animal studies. Given the new study was only conducted on a limited number of participants and over a very short period of time, more research will be needed to further understand whether these changes are only temporary and what long-term effect late night eating can have on these weight gain mechanisms. But we do know from other studies that people who tend to eat late in the evening also tend to gain weight far more easily. Now, other large-scale studies looking at the relationship between disturbances in meal timing on energy balance, such as skipping breakfast, late-night eating, and even shift work, have found these patterns of eating were linked to higher body weight and greater risk of metabolic disorders, such as high blood pressure and even type 2 diabetes. This study adds to a growing body of evidence showing just how important meal timing can be when it comes to maintaining a healthy body weight. Based on what this and other studies have shown, people who are watching their weight may want to ditch late night snacks and favour eating most of their meals, if they can, earlier in the day. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, if you follow the channel regularly, you'll know that I've done eating by about eight o'clock at night and I don't eat again until noon the next day. Uh, and that's definitely five, sometimes six, even seven days a week. This study had people eating late at night and then having breakfast at the normal time in the morning. So I don't think these results would be reflected in people like myself who practice either intermittent fasting or time restricted feeding. It would be interesting to see what the hormone levels, adrenaline in particular, are for those people who do time restrict their feeding or practice intermittent fasting. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this particular study. Well, that's it for today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.